Hello, my name is Alan Murray and I'm pleased to introduce you to our new online course on creating league tables and other sports competitions in Excel. And I wanted to use this video as an opportunity to demonstrate the different skills and techniques that you will learn throughout this course. So I'm going to show you through three different spreadsheets that are examples that you will create yourself throughout the course but they are also available for you to download and my first example is this football league table where I've got some results entered on this fixtures sheet at the moment and this league table is automatically creating the league table rankings and some various statistics from them fixtures so as a demonstration for now, I can see Bayern Munich in second place with seven points behind Monaco nine. And we can also see, for example, that Ajax are in fourth place at four points with Liverpool in five, but with a better goal difference. So if I just pop to my fixture sheet and imagine that if I can enter a victory for Bayern Munich, let's say they've won 2-0 against Liverpool, and if I put in an IAC result as well, maybe a draw against Barcelona, that should change our league tables around. So if I switch to my league table, I can now see Bayern Munich immediately on top with 10 points and an increase in their goals there. And Ajax have gone to third place, level with Liverpool on five points. Extra goal, but a goal difference or goal scored taking effect now mean that Ajax are above Liverpool in the league table. So we'll learn how to do all this, how to calculate statistics from the fixtures such as how many wins, how many draws, how many goals scored etc. But also use it to create this automatic rankings moving team or players league positions. Okay let's switch to what else we will look at during this course. I'm going to switch to a tennis tournament and I'm going to switch my uh, calculations to manual here so it's not doing it automatically. Here I've got an example of a tennis tournament with some matches being played and uh, as a result of their matches, you know, players' names being moved into the next hat, the next draw for the hat. And I've got buttons along the top where we can manually calculate the draw or clear data um, yeah, when we're finished to start a new tournament. So somebody can enter results here. Imagine that we've got a res first set to Nishikori there, maybe next set to David Ferrer, and so on. They can enter the results as you would normally, and you can do the same for the others. And when completed, click the button for a semi-final draw and it will automatically calculate the results of the matches and move the player or team names you know, a random draw into the next round. So for any cup competitions or tournaments you may be involved with yourself or are responsible for organising this is a fantastic spreadsheet for that and we can just click this clear button to reset that data when we're done ready for the next season or the next tournament. So we'll be looking at different formulas and also a little bit of macro code uh, to create this scenario. Okay the last example a third section in this course will look at creating cricket statistics. Cricket is a little bit unique as a sport as to how it calculates results and various external factors involved uh, such as the weather or, or kind of running out of time etc um, and also how they work with overs in their six balls per over and these other kind of unique workings that Excel might out of the box not be happy with so we've got our own section for this and we'll look at creating this world 2020 tournament let me switch uh, my calculations back to automatic so as an example here, uh, you can see the sheet names at the bottom and I've got these Super 10 fixtures 
We had a 2014 tournament fixtures been entered, and we we're calculating the results over here with an opportunity to override and use the Duckworth Lewis method if it was involved. Recording how many runs they made, wickets were taken, overs bowled. And then we've got another sheet for our tables, where just like earlier in this video, we are automatically calculating team rankings and statistics. And this cricket example, we're going to look at how you can calculate the net run rate of teams, like displayed here, how we can calculate bowling strike rate, and also from these fixtures, how we can calculate things like how many balls did each team bowl, how many overs did each team bowl, you know, how many runs did they make, all of this information which as far as this spreadsheet is concerned is all calculated on this calculation sheet. We've got a number of wins from the team in both the group stages of the tournament, runs for and against, overs, NRR, wickets taken, bowling strike rate, loads of cricket statistics and how we can use formulas to automatically calculate this information and use them to organise league tables or whatever you may need them for. So the purpose of this course is to get all these skills and techniques through different scenarios so that hopefully, even if your sporting example is different to these demonstrated, you will be able to use these techniques to adapt them to your needs. So I hope this sounds of interest to you. If so, please grab yourself a coffee, sign up now and let's get going.